Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Go Bros. Today we're going to be starting part five. Um, we're going to be working on the inside. We got all the insulation in here. I have the fiberglass reinforced waterproof. Um, it's kind of what they use on industrial kitchens on the walls. So we're going to put that on the sides um, all the way around. I got a couple more things to do up there first before I can put that panel on. But um, on the ceiling, we got to mark out all our lights and cut our holes. Um, lots to do. Let's get to it. making little I'm doing the ceiling right now so I want my lights to be a foot out from the wall on each side and <clears throat> my wall is <clears throat> 50 inches so I got to use a little over two sheets so I measured over 12 inches from my first row of lights my second row of lights from this same wall is 38 inches over so i'll mark those on my sheets outside cut those holes um and then everything will be cut before it gets in here i just got to measure this out once and get that marked down and we should be good to get cut so i got the layout for the um ceiling portion i got my four lights laid out there I just made a small template of what the um, the diameter of the actual cutout portion needs to be and then there's a little trim ring that goes around there so it'll sit nice and flush and then this is for the vent fan on top I'm gonna carry this over to the jigsaw and we'll start cutting it out can lights went in nicely uh, I just got this little battery sitting here I'm gonna go ahead and hook that up real quick and then see what the lights look like oh yeah nice and bright I'm glad we did this get a slot some more light to work with there she is Pretty nice. All right, we're gonna uh, cut this next panel out up here to match this side. Got a couple more boxes to cut around in the door, but we'll get to it and um, show you when it's up there. in fits good I'm excited to get the trim up there because I can't stand looking at the little seams but we got to do that after but right now I took apart some pallets and we're gonna use these for kind of the headboard um, just give it a rustic look and then once we get everything up there so these are gonna go up here on this wall and once we get everything up there, I'll go through and polyurethane everything. Uh, it'll just be easier to do all at once when everything's up there. But um, we're gonna measure stuff out and stagger them so we can cut a bunch of the same lengths. So hopefully that'll go pretty fast. We gotta get the chop saw outside and cut some wood.
felt wall pretty much done. Yeah, that black paper behind it makes it look way better. Um, I gotta get a couple more pallets to go there. And that, that will be done. Um, I also have to cut in my switch panel somewhere here eventually. Um, but then I gotta get this panel on. And I can finish the bottom side. And then we got trim to go all the way around outlets and I actually I might do that right now before I forget there's two outlets underneath here that I got to uh, got to get cut out so let's go ahead and do that real quick got these two plugs cut out well actually this one's a plug this one's a switch to turn the inverter on and off but uh, those are done next got my switch panel and I kind of traced it out. It's going to sit right there. Uh, I traced it out. I'm going to use a oscillating tool. Cut that out. Might have to adjust it a little bit once I get it out. But uh, then we should be able to get that set in there. I figured while well, I kind of got a mess going, I might as well cut that out too. So let's get started. panel is in. It's even straight too. I just figured I'd get that in before uh, before anything here. That looks pretty good. little project we got is I need to put a outside plug here and the reason for that is that toolbox is gonna be sitting in front and this toolbox is gonna have my 12 volt cooler and my um, 12 volt diesel heater in there so I need to be able to remove that and take this toolbox off but I need power in there and it's only gonna this plug is only gonna be 12 volts but I just have a little flapper cover that opens and I can plug that in so everything over here has power so we're gonna go ahead and just get started on that I got it traced out in here and we're just gonna cut that out and mount this box in there Turned out good. Uh, this will be our plug for the the um, TV, and this will this that's just our um, controls for our diesel heater. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pop these plugs in. We've got most of the interior done. We just got the trim left to do, but I'll do that at the end after I get my door in. Uh, that'll be one of the last things I do. But yeah, let's go ahead and get these plugs in real quick. That's gonna end this video. Um, the next part will probably probably be starting on the kitchen area in the back or um, constructing this diesel heater and um, fridge area up in the front. Please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. It really does help out the channel and it doesn't cost you guys anything and it really helps us out. Uh, please stay tuned for the next video and we'll see you then.